Hey guys, Josh here at Fortner's Frontier Leather. If you're new to the channel, we make uh, uh, leather gear and content for people who want to live a self-reliant life and be prepared. So today, I want to talk about something that we all need to live and most preppers overlook, and that is water. Uh, you know, you can have all the ammo and all the guns in the world, uh, but if you're thirsting to death, uh, there's no point. And you can make the argument, yes, um, well, you need the guns to defend your water. Uh, yeah, that's true, but you need the water um, to, to live. Uh, every living thing needs water. Uh, every living thing doesn't need ammo. Uh, you know, and I can tell you from experience, um, in combat, uh, we go through a lot more water than we probably went through ammo in weight and whatever you want to call it. You drink a ton of water, especially when you're putting forth a lot of a lot of energy and uh, a lot of effort to to stay alive. So there's a lot of different ways you can you know obtain and store and purify water. I just want to talk about a few today uh, and just to give you some ideas and get you to thinking. So we've kept water in these seven gallon. Uh, containers from Walmart, Reliance. I believe this is a uh, some sort of Canadian company. Um, but I like these things uh, because they're small enough you can carry them around. I've got several of them. Uh, we lived in a camper for about a year and we stored our water in this um, and would bring this in the house uh, and lay it on the table like so. The cool thing about these is you take the cap off and uh, there's a little like spigot inside. You just unscrew it from here. There's a little, take this wrapper off, screw it back on from this way. And put it back on your container. And there you have, you know, you have a spigot on there. So when you're storing it or, or traveling with it, uh, you can have it the other way so you don't break that thing off. And uh, and then when you're ready to use it, you have the spigot on there or the, whatever you want to call it, faucet. And, uh, you know, put it on the edge of the table and get your water out. So we have several of those um, with water in them. Um, but the water that you have is not going to last you forever. Uh, you can't store enough water. You will go through so much water. It's crazy. Like people don't understand how much water you need. You can never store enough. So we have some to get us going if the water were to go out for whatever reason. Um, and uh, we have a lot of these purif purification tablets. Uh, the iodine will taste bad, but these Coleman ones come with a neutralizer that will uh, kind of get rid of that uh, iodine taste. I got a ton, a ton of these. Um, also, these uh, filters like this, these uh, Sawyer Mini filters, they are awesome. Let me tell you, I have used them myself. I have drinking water out of puddles with them. Uh, they're like the life straw, I guess, you know, same kind of concept. But you can put these on a bottle. Um, they come with this pouch and you screw, you fill this pouch up with water, screw it on there, and then you can squeeze it out through that uh through that filter. I mean, if I had to, I could fill this thing back up with it, you know, fill these, fill a bottle or these pouches up with water and uh, screw the filter on there and squeeze it all out into this container until I filled it up. And you can clean it out too. Uh, put this on there, back flush it, clean it out, and it'll filter 100,000 gallons. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, you're not gonna store 100,000 gallons. Uh, I mean, unless you have big, big containers to do so. Uh, but you know, this is a way, um, to filter water. If you were to capture, capture rainwater, or get water out of a, uh, a stream or a pool or something, uh, when it all comes down to it, you can always boil it. So keep, you know, a way to make, make fire on hand. Uh, you, you need, a, you need fire for a lot of things. I mean, we need fire to live. Uh, and you can use it to uh, boil water, of course, and purify your water. So keep matches and keep plenty of lighters. I was actually um, reading an account the other day from people in Venezuela, you know, talking about things that um, 
that they didn't think about that they wish they had when all this crap went on with them, which I think we're headed for a similar situation. Uh, and one of those things was lighters. They were saying, for whatever reason, you just could not find lighters. And they wish they had had, that they had hoarded lighters beforehand. I also have a ton of these saved up and these stormproof matches. I've got a ton of these. Uh, I get these from Walmart as well. Uh, these are great. I've started fires in the rain of oh, the, the wind whipping and blowing all around with these matches and they, they work great. Uh, so if you need to boil you some water when it's raining and uh, windy or in a hurricane or whatever, uh, those will work for you. So, um, you know, that's just kind of basic uh, ideas that I have, have multiple ways of, of doing everything, redundancy and everything. And uh, even in water, uh, different ways of storing it, different ways of purifying it. And uh, you should be good to go. Uh, but you need a plan for your water. Uh, mine's not perfect. Um, nobody's probably is. If you have some better ideas, um, leave them in the comments. Uh, I, can, I drink straight rainwater without purifying it. We had a rainwater collection system a while back, but I tore it down when we moved. Um, but either way, make sure you got your water squared away because that's number one, your number one prep. Um, many of you already know this. This is for those that don't. Uh, share this video with people you love and people you want to be prepared. Uh, be sure to hit like and subscribe. Uh, head over to our Patreon page at patreon.com slash Fortner's Frontier Leather to stay tuned for more um, uh, exclusive uh, self-reliance and leatherworking type uh, content. Stay self-reliant.